signature dish, mushrooms stuffed with mashed potatoes. So first I'm going to cut down my onion. I'm using a pretty large onion here. I'm only going to use half of this. I'm using regular and portobello mushrooms. Last time I made this, I only made one batch and everybody in the neighborhood fought over it. So today I'm making two batches. Now most people would think, mashed potatoes with mushrooms? I don't know about that, but believe me, they are good. I invented this recipe when I went gluten-free, and all we had in our refrigerator and pantry was some mashed potatoes, so I thought, this will work. I'll give it a try, and I think the try was a success. I'm going to pour in our olive oil. Now I'm going to put my onions into the pan. While they caramelize, I'll start chopping my garlic. Place it down. Add on its back, you don't want it to wobble. Blade outwards so it's not facing towards you. Put it on. Smack it. And the harder you smack it, the easier it is for it just to come right off. I like a lot of garlic. So I would put five cloves in each pan with the mushrooms. But if you only like a little, you can just put like two or three. While we are waiting for our onions and garlic to caramelize, we are going to prepare our sheet pans. Two tablespoons of olive oil on here. Now I'm just kind of moving it around in there. So we're going to prepare the pan with some garlic salt. Now you can use regular salt, but I love the flavor of the garlic salt. You don't want too much salt, but you definitely want enough because this is going to deliciously flavor your mushrooms, our portobello mushrooms. And the higher you are, the more it gets everywhere. I'm making it rain. And now I have enough on there. Don't want to overdo. I have done that in the past. <laughs> Mix around our garlic and onions because I can smell them from like a mile away. Now I am going to mix around our regular mushroom. Just kind of going to make sure top, bottom, and sides are all equally deliciously coated with their olive oil and salt. Yum! Alright, now here's the easy way to do your mushroom. You're going to push pressure on one side. Sometimes it goes like that. And then you can go to the other side. It takes a long time to cook. You definitely need patience. But seriously, the best part is definitely that finished product. Putting it on your table. Your family enjoying it. That's definitely. Whoa, that one popped out everywhere, didn't it? Mm, it smells like Nana's house. I love when her house smells like Nana's house. Seriously, it's like her perfume is food. And pretty much once you get the hang of these mushrooms, they are easy. Now we're starting on our portobello, which I find is easier just to puff out because, look, it's not as big. <laughs> oh, I was forgetting my garlic salt. What a big catastrophe that would have been. I bet a lot of you are wondering why I'm gluten free. Very easy to be gluten free. They make all the foods normal, just with rice flour and corn flour. I went gluten free because my cousin Tegan and my uncle, they went gluten free. So for lunch, I decided to give it up too. I'm going to start cutting up my mushroom stems. Now I broke a few of them. We all make mistakes in cooking. So I'm just gonna cut these in put them along with our stems. Alton Brown on the Food Network, he did a show on whether you could soak mushrooms in water. And well, he soaked them for a long time. No matter how much he soaked them, nothing really happened. So you can wash your mushrooms. I'm taking the advice of Alton Brown. That means it must be good. But the mushrooms do absorb our olive oil. You see how there's not really a lot in here. <laughs> I'm going to put these in with my caramelized onions and garlic. But remember, we're stuffing them back in the mushrooms, so they do have to be small. Alrighty, now these are going into the pan. Now I'm going to throw some raw garlic on the bottom of our pan. I've already put a few in this one. So and this brings more flavor. Last time I made this, my family critiqued it and said that it was too lumpy. So this time when I made my mashed potatoes, I used a ricer to rice it all the way thin so it's no longer lumpy. So I'm just going to put this into a glass bowl. I am not using plastic because plastic 
is not really safe for hot foods. It kind of brings out something that I don't know, but I know it's bad. I'm going to put this in. There it is. I'm just going to... And look at that steam coming up. Here's a tip. When you're done using your pan, don't put it back on the heat. Put it away from it so that it does not heat up and cook with nothing in it. So one small mashed potato, a whole lot of garlic. I am using a cookie dough scoop just to get a little perfect, but you can just use it with a spoon too. Believe me, this stuff is good. I want to just eat this mix. Oh yeah, mushroom time. We're going to preheat our oven. Convention three, five, oh. While it's preheating, we're going to finish up these mushrooms. Mmm. Could you imagine that this is gluten-free? It's just hard to believe. You don't have to give up flavor to be gluten-free. Mushrooms are ready to go into the oven, and these are looking pretty good. Just look how stuffed they are. And really, those mashed potatoes add such great flavor. Just yum. Anyone would be lucky to have this on their dinner table. And it is time to take our mushrooms out of the oven. Alrighty. And man, don't these look good? I can't to call everybody in the neighborhood to eat this. Bye for now.